So I recently got my hands on a Cisco UCS C240 M3 server. And after looking it over, I kind of found it to be neat. It's a cool design. And with the CPUs and memory capability and then drive expansion in the front, I believe this is comparable to a Dell PowerEdge R720 XD. And when looking it over, I found something interesting that caught my attention. A little port right there. Above the port, it's, it's labeled GPU power. I did a little looking on eBay to see if anybody was selling power cables for these, but there wasn't anything available. I didn't look at the manual, but I'm guessing if this is anything like the Dell R720s I've dealt with, those didn't include any kind of documentation for pin out of this power ports either. So I thought it'd be cool to make a video showing my process of how I determine the pinouts of these ports. That way other people can do it for themselves if they want, make their own custom cables. I know uh, the videos I did on making uh, cables for the R720 was pretty popular, so hopefully this will be helpful for other people. Also, since these servers are about as capable as an R720, um, you can actually pick these up cheaper than an R720 from what I've seen, at least ones that are configured. But so to check the pen out of this port here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one of my, well, first I guess I have my meter in continuity mode. And I'm going to have one of the probes on the chassis since the chassis is normally grounded. And then I'm just going to go from left to right, top to bottom, and check each one of the pins one at a time. That's interesting. I did have this plugged in earlier, so I don't know if that's why I'm getting a false positive. The capacitors might not be fully drained yet. This is a little bit different than the R720 since the R720 was on a riser card and you could just pull the riser card out and isolate it from any other circuitry. Since this is in circuit, I am going to run into some issues if there is any charge left behind from when I had it plugged in. Alright, let's start over. There we go, that's better. I think there's still a charge in the capacitors from having it powered on earlier. So that one's probably 12 volt. That one's 12 volt. That one's a 12 volt. That one should be ground. That should be ground. That should be ground. That should be ground. And that one should be ground. So this should be the same pen out as the uh, R720s use on their risers. These are the pin outs of the connectors themselves. So on the riser, if this is the connector, these bottom three here are going to be positive. This top row will be negative and then this one here will be negative. And just for sake of simplicity, since I have a Sharpie nearby, I'm just going to color them. So that is the colors that the wires would be, with these three being plus 12 and then the rest of the ones that are black being ground. And what we determined was these top three, one, two, and three, should be 12 volt and if you just kind of rotate that and flip it this would be the top top three since it's oriented like that so from what i can tell so far this connector should be wired the same as the 12 volt riser on a um, power edge r720 so i'm going to pause here i'm going to plug this in i'm going to let it do do its little post sequence where it ramps the fans up and down a bunch of times. And then once it all settles down, I'll come back and I will measure the outputs on those pins. All right, so the server's finally settled down. I'm gonna put my multimeter in voltage mode now. 
And based on what we've determined already, this top three, top of, oops, top of the screen, should be plus 12 volts. That one's ground, and the bottom ones are ground. So in voltage mode, I should be able to go from one of these grounds, do this one first, and find plus 12 volts. Well, if I have my probes correct. <laughs> All right, plus 12, plus 12, plus 12. And we can also verify if these are both plus 12, it should show no voltage. Yep. Ooh, I'll watch for a pit stop. <laughs> um, so we believe these bottom ones are ground. So we can go this one that we believe to be ground, no voltage. Plus 12, plus 12, plus 12. And we can just go through all these one at a time. And for fun, we go to the top, top uh, right. And yeah, then we know it's, we already know it's the ground, but putting the probes between two ground pins still gives us zero volts. All right, so that helps us determine the pinout. Basically, that means that on the cable side of things, zoom out, it's going to require the same kind of cable as the Dell R720 riser does, which is basically it's it's basically an EPS 12 volt cable. I won't plug this in since the wires are exposed, but um, this connector does fit in there, and then this isn't wired correctly though, so if you use, if you make your own cable, you have to rewire these in the same manner that I did for my, um, R720. That is assuming, of course, you're using, you're using this for an EPS 12 volt output for a Tesla card. If you want to put a traditional GeForce card, then you won't have to really do a lot of rewiring. You just want to take this and then on the other end put a PCI Express 8 pin connector with the appropriate wires going to the appropriate pins. But yeah, so basically um, hard to show properly since it's on, but those, as I had color coded, that would be the correct pin out because Actually, flip this upside down to plug it in. Now, I'll give you the three that are 12 volt, and then these five that are ground. I do have my example cable here. This is the cable I was using to power a video card in a R720 video I did with the Quadro 4000. And if this is wired correctly <laughs> and and I my pinouts are correct as I as I've done the troubleshooting to check I should be able to plug this in without any fire <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play it a little crazy here and do bad make bad life choices but I'm fairly confident so what the hell there we go so yeah, and this, like I said, this is the same cable I was using in the R720. Um, let's see, pin out. I don't think this is going to be the best idea trying to do this by hand, but let's, let's see what I can do. I got one and a 12 volt. Yep, it's negative because I put the negative in the plus 12, but yeah. So basically you can either make your own cable using some EPS 12 volt cables that chopped off old power supplies or if you have a modular power supply with the uh, correctly wired um, PCI Express power connections you could also use that but you would want to make sure that the one you have is correctly wired so hopefully that's useful I will uh, 
put a link to my other video that I did with the how to make the cables for the R720. Obviously don't take this as gospel. I'm no expert by any means. But um, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. And definitely feel free to double check my work. If I'm wrong, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.